day and you're not able to, you know, converse with someone, it's hard to keep that dialect. And he, he was able to speak so freely and so almost just like he'd been doing it for so long. I, that's what I found to be a little odd. Really? Well, you know, I can't, I can't answer that. I just know that, that um, I think that they were going to do everything they could to get their son home. I don't think that there was any, um, any, any alterca- any bad altercations whatsoever. But that that's just my my taking on it. And and um, as far as I'm speaking Arabic, you know, I I think it's like anybody else that wanted to learn a language. Um, maybe it came the time that he wanted to talk to those people, or or you know wanted to to learn the language. I you know I. I don't know. You know, I, I lived up there for a long time, and you know, we're, we're just simple people. We, I, I just don't think that Blaney and Bob uh, are bad people or or anything. I just think that their son went over there to war. I think he was just, you know, he wanted to go over there to serve his country, and he was caught up in this chaos of war. And I think that was more, more or less. I think he was brainwashed by those. Afghanistan people. I think that he was scared. And, uh, he was never going to see his family again. I think he was going to do what he had to do, and, and I think he was a pawn, and so on and so forth. I, I just really don't think anything more of that. Well, during the time that he was a POW, did you ever have, you know, did you ever talk to his parents at all? I know Bo was writing a lot of emails back to his uh, family. You know, in one of the emails, he he said that he was ashamed to be American. You know, did you ever have any chance to talk to the the mother or father oh. about a lot of those emails he was sending home? No, they wouldn't talk to the media, and they wouldn't talk to anybody about anything. And they so, really try, they really tried to stay out of the limelight every every which way they could because um, you know they just didn't want want. To, well, how want do you fi- how do you feel about the way that Bo is being portrayed now in the media in the mainstream media? You know, the fact that they're saying, is he a hero? Is he a deserter? How do you feel about that? You know, I, I, I don't think he's a deserter. I just, like I told you, I think he, I think he was just a scared uh, young man that went over there to, and was caught up in the war. And I think he just, uh, I think he, uh, you know, they say that he was trying to divert and trying to leave. Uh, who knows what he was trying to do? Maybe, he, maybe he just wanted to go for a walk. Maybe he wanted to just get get out of there, uh, and he got caught, and 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 there you go. Uh, he was just innocent, a pawn. He, he didn't know what he was doing. Now, did and, you have did you have a chance to watch the interviews that when uh, the parents went to the White House and spoke to the president, and also yesterday Bob did an hour long interview as well live? Did you have a chance to watch those? Yes, yes, I did. And what did you think about those? Well, I don't know what to think about those, to be quite honest. I don't know. I mean, I mean I, my feeling on the whole thing, I think it's a, I think it's a, um, um, on my part, I think Obama, I think he's just doing this to make him look good. <laughs> I don't think it's right what, what he was doing. I don't, I don't think it's right at all. I think, I think he's using the, uh, Bo and his family to make him look good. And how so? How That's do you think that? How do you think that he's doing that? How's the spin on that? Well, you know, for years I mean, that Bo was gone, and uh, nobody really in the media, nobody really said anything about Bo. Only up here in the in the, in the Idaho area, and then we kept saying bring Bo home, and you know the. The, the media would, would get a hold of it a little bit and, and, and play on it, and that was it. But for years, nothing was said about Bo. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, Bo's released. And he's being accused of all this. And, and sure, you know, those those terrorists, they're, they're terrible people. There's no doubt about it. Well, in 2010, there was a article that said that Bo had converted to Islam, and this is what the Taliban say, and that he had taught them how to make explosive devices, and that he had changed his name to Abdullah. Do you know anything about that as well? Did you ever hear the parents talk no. about that? No. Like I said, the parents didn't talk about anything about that. And as far as that goes, yeah, he probably he probably was forced into doing that. 
that's my thoughts on it. I don't think he was. Um, Do you think um, that uh, Bob, the father, uh, converted to Islam as well? No, no, I don't. All right, Susan. Well, thanks for being on here. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Anything else you'd like to say about this story? I think the Bo. It, I think Bo. Like there again, I think Bo is just being used as a pawn. I think he. I think he stepped into something that he didn't know what he was getting into, and and by the time he was there, and he was caught, it was too late, and he had to. I mean, if anybody was going to be caught in a situation like that, I think. He, I think he'd do probably the same thing that he he had to do, and and he got to come home, and and that because I know that he thought he never was going to see his parents again, his family, his friends, or his home. I think he's just scared. Once again, thank you, Susan, for being here and share, sharing your story with us. I appreciate it yeah. a lot. Thanks for being on Infowars. Oh yeah, thanks a lot. All right, stay tuned. Weeknight, 7 p.m. Central. Also, if you like the news, please make sure you go to prisonplanet.tv. Your username and password can be shared with up to 10 people. This has been the InfoWars Nightly News.